hey how is it going and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to analyze a beam with varying cross section so most of the tutorial I have been doing is just to analyze a beam with a uniform cross section where the EI remain constant throughout the the beam element but in this case I'm going to show you that you can use the Python library Anastruct to, to analyze the bending moment and the shear force of a beam with variation in its EI. So the first thing is that this is the question in which we have a beam spanning 8 meters long in total with fixed support at point A, roller support at B, and pin support at E. So it has a uniformly distributed load with two point load as from the picture. So the first thing we need to do now is to install the Python library in which I have been using for most of my tutorial that is Anastruct and Anastruct is a 2D finite element Python library that you can pretty much do, do many structural analysis with it so you can install it using the pip install command so as you see as I have done it using the pip install Anastruct the next thing is to describe the beam or to design the beam blueprint so I will call the system element class from the Anastruct library and then I'm going to create an object from the system element class so the next thing is for me to define my EI which I assign it to be 5000 as the default then the next thing is to uh, get the the location or let's say we are now defining the length the various length of the of the segment of the beam so the i now we are assigning the i to be to be the 5000 because we the first segment of the beam the EI is 5000 the second segment is also 5000 which is constant but at the third segment it is changing to 2 by EI as you can see it from the original question and then the last segment of the beam is is also EI so it is constant it is only the the second to the last segment that changes then the next thing is for us to add a support condition and from the model we have seen we have fixed support the second at the second note we have ruler support and at the last note we have hinge or pin support so we are using the the system we are using the system elements now to create all the objects that will hold all the the beam geometry so we are visualizing our beam using this show structure method and then from there we are also now solving using the solve method that is is going to compute all the responses from the bending moment the shear force and the next thing is now to visualize the bending moment diagram so after the bending moment diagram then we have the shear force diagram and we use 
this show shear force to define the the method that is going to that is going to show us our shear force diagram so i think it's almost similar to the original question because they use the analytical method to solve the the problem so i think thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe